Hey folks, Brian here. Today I wanted to show you some progress that I've made on Ponzi 2, a simple stock chart application that I've been writing in Go. And what we're looking at here is Visual Studio Code, where I um, write this application and program it. And I've configured it so when I press Control Shift T, it runs through all the packages that are used for Ponzi 2. Um, you can see them here everything passed that's good for a new release and then I have control shift B which builds and runs the application so I pretty much write code test it then I launch the application and that's about it that's the development process and um, my Visual Studio code file my VS code file uh, it works in both Windows and Linux, so I can easily test this on Linux as well. Uh, finally, the whole application is go gettable, so I have this running on my work machine as well <laughs> in the corner, uh, keeping an eye on certain stocks. So here's what it looks like, and what's new in this uh, release, version 1.1.0 is um, one we've got some more information in the title bar now you can see that there's a company name and also it says close which is a source of data um, during market hours it'll show um, IEX real-time which means the data comes from IEX um, and it updates automatically every five minutes and the chart will change and another new feature is if you use the mouse wheel on the right hand side here it will change to a one day view and during market hours you'll see every um, a new bar appear um, every five minutes as it refreshes I found that some stocks um, there are less data for instance this UUP it only has one or a couple one or two points here um, maybe there's something visually I could do to highlight the points out here and uh, a rather recent contribution from open source was as you move your mouse it now shows um, the values open close the moving averages and all of those values and finally um, I guess the big change I've made recently um, it's making the um, application open source again. Um, can't blame me. I, I tried to be a little bit capitalist, but maybe I probably broke the license that I put on my own application to begin with. Um, but for now, I'm going back to just developing out in the open and um, making sure that uh, development continues that way. Just feels better, you know. I'll find another way to create value and generate some cash on it someday. So anyway, um, you can go to the releases page on GitHub, find version 1.1.0, and there's a Linux executable, the one without the EXE, and one with uh, EXE for Windows. And of course, you can get the source code and everything there, and you can just build it using go get as well. Um, one thing I need to do is write down um, more of the Linux dependencies that are necessary um, and also maybe a Windows tutorial as well. I have a video of that um, but I'll talk about that later someday and put that properly in the readme. So the new release is building, it's passing according to Travis and if you like the project, uh, don't donate money. Go star it first on GitHub. That's free. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you later. Bye.